whoops, let me get TikTok started over here for those who are watching. Okay. So first off, TikTokers, if you could um, find me over on Facebook, it's easier for us to communicate. So this is gonna be a keto bread recipe I found in a bread machine. I've had this thing for years, it's ancient, and I have not used it in a really, really long time, so I'm hoping it even still works. So let's see if it does. Let's see if I can even get it plugged in. Because it looks like, there we go. Well, it turned on, so that's a good thing, right? It turned on. So, <clears throat> This is two carbs per slice, 16 slices per loaf. And my ingredients, whoops, I lost them. Doesn't, it looks really good, right? So my ingredients are a cup of warm water. So let's get that first. Well, let's get my water warm first. I, Checked my water temperature, it was like 104 degrees right from the tap. This says 90 to 100, so by the time I get it, get it over here, I'll probably be close to that. A tablespoon of dry active yeast, one teaspoon allulose liquid form, two eggs slightly beaten, which I've already done right here. They are slightly beaten. So let's put this here. Two-thirds cup brown golden flax meal, a half a cup oat fiber, and I actually did a live about oat fiber and oat meal or oat flour. Oat fiber actually is keto and I did not know that before I looked it up. Um, vital wheat gluten, allulose powdered sugar form, psyllium husk powder, pink salt, and two tablespoons of softened butter. So this has been sitting out for a while. Let's get our water. And then it does say, add to the bread machine in this exact order. So, I'm gonna rip this off because I need to see the amounts. So add the warm water and yeast. It's a tablespoon. So let's get the warm water. So there's a cup of warm water. We'll put right in there. And then it says a tablespoon of active dry yeast. So I bought this particular one because, and it says let's sit five to seven minutes. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. Seven um, minutes, starting now. It, the Saf Instant, they said was the best for um, bread machines. So I didn't have an easy way to open this. So I will be vacuum sealing it because I don't want to waste all this. So then, until it foams slightly. So can you see in there? Hey, Melissa. So it does seem to be foaming slightly. So we'll let it go. So then my next thing, I'm excited for this and I'm hoping it really works out because I grew up on bread. Who didn't grow up on bread? And sandwiches was a big thing in my house. Um, I don't even remember how to use this, so I hope I can figure, figure it out. So then after that, we're gonna add the liquid allulose, which is going to be a teaspoon. And I found this, of course, 
And I don't know why allulose is a big thing all of a sudden. I always use the swerve, but let's see if this needs opened inside. Because, you know, I have problems opening things sometimes. So, if you could put bread emojis if you miss bread on keto, that's why I'm really hoping this works out. Because even, I have some Aldi's bread here and it says it's zero carb. Oh, it's moldy. <laughs> I guess I have, I don't eat much bread actually. So, it says calories 40. Water modified wheat starch, wheat protein, isolate oat fiber, yeast, wheat, gluten, inulin, soybean oil. Oh, see, I'm hypothyroid, so I'm not supposed to do soy anything. Um, I read an article about that years ago, asked my doctor, and she actually said yes, but they don't tell you that. So, but see, that's already moldy, so we're tossing it. But this is, total carbs is nine, dietary fiber nine, so it says it's zero carb, net carbs uh, for what? One slice? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. All right, so then we're gonna do a teaspoon. more time that we have here. Oh, we still have 3.44 minutes. So let's get this out of the way. So if you're on Facebook, if you could put a one, if you see the bo red box up here that says live, if you don't see that, that means you're catching the replay. Um, put a two in the comments. If you want to follow me, I do different things. I do some informational keto stuff. I do keto kitchens. I do keto, you know, some exercise because I'm, I'm new to exercise. I don't like exercising, but you know, it is what it is. We all have to do that, right? So, um, you can hit the screen, hit the three dots up here and follow me. If you want to turn on live notifications, hit the screen again, hit the three dots up here, turn on live notifications. You can also put me in your favorites, hit the screen again, hit the three dots, and put me in your favorites. Say, Terry. So we are doing keto bread in my old time bread machine. You can also bake this um, in the oven. I do have the recipe for that too. So if you want in a fantastic group that has thousands of recipes, all kinds of support, no keto police, all, tons of resources about keto, food lists, shopping lists, meal plans, all the things. Put secret in the comments. Send me a friend request there if we are not already friends, and I will get you added to that group. I have actually lost, well, I've lost, and now I'm on prednisone, which is another whole thing because of an autoimmune disease. So, of course, I put some on, but I've still lost a total of um, 80 pounds of fat. So, um, and I've been doing keto. It'll be three years, the end of this month. Love keto. To me, it's the easiest way to go. All you do is eat a fatty source of protein and a small amount of vegetables. You can have a handful of berries for your fruit. Those are, and the easiest way to remember what vegetables you can have is if they grow above ground, pretty much you, you can have them. You have to check them though, but it's a, it's an easy rule. And if they grow below the ground, you can't have them. That's just how I figure it out. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and go because. Alexa, turn off timer. So now we're gonna Seven add. timer canceled. We're gonna add one teaspoon of the liquid allulose, which I did not even know it was a thing. And then we're going to add two beaten eggs, whipped eggs, whatever you want to say, to that. Like I 
say, I love sandwiches. I love, I love grilled cheese. And I know I've done the chaffle grilled cheese before, which I like, but it'd be nice to have it actually on bread, wouldn't it? Okay, so we added our eggs, the ground flax meal, Okay, I didn't open this. A lot of this, this is why I had to wait till today to do this, because I had to wait for a lot of this to come in on my Amazon, and it got here yesterday. So the flaxseed meal is two-thirds cup. And like I said, this does say to add it in the order. So there's a third and there's two thirds. And I see, I did not get the golden, it said golden, I don't know if there's a difference. But this is the one I got. Um, oh, sorry, Facebookers, I forgot to turn this around again so you can actually see the right way. There you go. So this is what I got. I did not get the golden, I actually, I don't know what my problem is. I forget to read all the way sometimes. And then add the oat fiber. And this I've actually used before. So this is a half a cup. Ugh, my spoons are falling. Let's wash this off now. Don't mind my mess in this corner. This is where I keep my husband's bread, and I do keep mine if I have it, but there, that's washed off. So it's a half a cup, excuse my hair's getting in the way, my hair is getting too long. So there's a half a cup of oat fiber, and like I say, I will show you this in a minute. And that's the oat fiber I get. Tic-tackers. Um, Tic-tackers, you will have to find me on Facebook for the recipe. The recipe will be in there. Then we add the wheat gluten. And I could not find mine. I know I had this before that I bought at the grocery store. This is red... Red Mill, whatever his name, Bob's Red Mill. Um, and I know I've used it before and I can't find it. So I had to order more of this. So this is one and a quarter cups. And I will post a picture when I'm done, because this takes three hours to cook. I'm not gonna keep you on here three hours, no way. And that's the quarter cup. And like I said, this was Bob's uh, Red Mill, which most grocery stores have. And then the allulose powdered sugar form. Can It says can, you can use the same about amount of swirl or erythritol. I chose to, since I'm going allulose, I chose to do all allulose and they recommended this Bestie Sugar Replacement was the best one. And this is four tablespoons. Yeah, if I can get it open. That's crazy. Huh. She doesn't want to open up. She doesn't want to open up. So, anybody relate to missing bread? Boy, I, I really miss my bread. And I don't know why I can't get this open, so I'm just going to cut it. It's being obstinate. I'm 
probably going to end up cutting this too low. And then I will have to vacuum seal it again. There we go. So it says four tablespoons of powdered sweetener. So there's one, two, three, and four. And if I don't count them out loud, I get, I get confused. Anybody else relate? I just, that's what happens. So this is the one that they suggested. Um, I will probably amp these up, you know, change them out. Once I get comfortable, if it really works, now a tablespoon of the psyllium husk. I use this quite often. This is one I get off of Amazon. I, who can relate? I love Amazon. I, wait, I don't have to go out. I don't have to go out. I just want to double check it's a tablespoon, but it is. There's a tablespoon. And then it's a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, which this is the one I get. I don't know where I get this at. I really don't remember. It might be Costco, it might be Walmart. I don't know. It might be Aldi's. I'm not sure. All right, so it's a teaspoon of that. if I can get it. Huh. I'm having a hard time getting it. Let me pour it over here. I don't want to get too much stuff in there. All right, so there's a teaspoon pink Himalayan salt. And then two tablespoons of softened butter. Then it says, close the lid. And the bread machine, set the machine to mix and bake at three hours. Let's see if I can I don't remember. Select. Mm, I don't know. Let's stop this. It says start. Well, I guess this one, timer need, rise, bake, complete. So need, for how many hours? Three hours, start. So there we go. And when it's all done, I will um, post a picture on Facebook in the comments and like I say if you want in this group where I get a lot of my recipes from this one did not come from there I will post the link for this recipe if I can get it copy it and post it I, sometimes I have issues with that if not then I'll just write it all out for you love and appreciate every single one of you and I'm hoping this works Bye-bye.